Okay, so last video talked about human rights and really the context of certain built-in systems that we are now trying to shed, like the hijab in the Middle East. And let's not get nervous about it, understanding tradition and tribalism and what has made people make certain laws and about how it's kind of an untouchable subject because it takes a whole a whole forum of people, philosophers, historians and real true heroes to associate with this and really understand this. So I will not touch this, I will let it sit for today. And uh, let's talk about women. So the coming together and the gatherings of women have become a boring thing, has become no, it's become something known and it's become something needed. But you see, we don't know how to talk to each other without men guiding us along sometimes in certain groups. And certain others, we don't know how to speak to each other when everything is transparent and obvious. When we are in a group of women, you see, no lipstick and hairdo is going to save you. Um, we don't um, want to know about your husband and your money and your children and how they're doing. We don't necessarily even want to know you, you as an ego. Uh, we want to know who you are inside and that takes a lot of years to master and to learn more about but you're also very very safe and real and looked at, sorry, moving the leg, uh, looked at proportionately and serenely by other women's gaze and they're not trying to sell you anything so unfortunately today with the cacao parties and the little hands night get-togethers and my god the dildo parties um, I don't know it's really getting obscene basically now the women's groups are a uh, mainly a organization for women to make money from I'm selling oils she's selling massage that woman's selling dresses now get your hair did now ladies and then like oh we sisters will cry together but at a price um, I want to tell you a little bit about me and what I've come out of. Uh, so in my family, we have a lot of different tribes. And I'm not just a Caucasian woman. I'm obviously a mix. And my mother has Arabic and uh, Gypsy and Jewish and different types of bloods, you know. So my mother is kind of brown and my dad is kind of Asian, okay? So you might not say that looking at me, but yeah, we have a mix of different cultures. And that is probably what has made me good at stuff and be able to walk out and speak out and be all of those energies. And it's a bit messy. And it's from nowhere. Um, but yeah, it's interesting having a mix, a tribal mix, a very vast dialect of energies um, usually helps you along, but it can be very painful and uncomfortable. So to do this, I have to say, okay, in my tribe, okay, in my mother's line, uh, we had a very sort of uh, Jewish way of life, okay, Arabic slash Jewish way of life. Now, we don't speak about it. There is no dogma. There is no Quran. There is just a way that women used to meet and talk about life. And that is what I'm paid for now for work, uh, partially. That is one of my guides. So, you see, we women, uh, we women would sit and we talk. And we talk a lot and we talk a lot about nothing. We talk about something and then we get to the point. And then we talk and then we talk, talk, talk. And then eventually basically what happened to me as a child also, I got to say, I become accustomed to seeing women as this. And my life is completely dedicated to loving other women, to what they say, their life experience. There is no shock for me. I've seen it all. I've seen everything. I love talking to other women and gaining their uh, frequency and knowing who they are through absolute uh, transcendence of my own karmas based on how they have learned so this is a huge giant um, interactional platform as well you know um, it's a huge giant uh, universe now you see in our culture my mother's culture her, her line we talk 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 we know a lot we sit in somebody's kitchen usually and la 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 we talk we talk we talk and we give each other guidelines and we drop hints and then we like turn away when we know the conversation is not truth truthful enough what's too truthful and then we come back you see there is a very special almost like an arabic aroma uh, to something that I, i'm carrying energetically as well because i know the truth of who we are because these women spoke in silence or you know outwardly um in truth 
these women spoke in truth. So my mother's house growing up was a house of truths, truths. And that is where we are still as a community. So you see, even though my um, body is both my mother and my father, that automatically became kind of a truth setter or a guideline as to what the world was. Now, if we look at, say, for example, your mother's line and her connection to people, maybe there are different ways and different games, the different biologies, genealogies, cultures, histories, tribes and traditions that you don't think you carry anymore. I'm a modern woman, I can do what I want. No, no yes, yes, you can. But if you want a shortcut to your memories, okay, memory, memory glands, they're like memories, uh, the moon, uh, the woman of the house, memories, the grandmother in you. Even if you are 14 years old watching this, which you should probably not necessarily was, okay. Um, if you are connecting to other women and you're understanding that you're sharing a galaxy of knowledge together to gain confidence you have to know your tribe so may maybe your mother didn't speak to other women maybe she just gave them gifts that's a celtic thing you know i heard you i felt you and for a split second i knew everything about you but then i closed up it's like different databases different consciousness and then I felt and I felt and I thought and I cried and I felt alone. And then I brought you this, or I gave you a small hint. There is a different a universe of knowledge in uh, different tribes, like say in India, I have a little bit of uh, gypsy and German too, you see. So there is like a feeling in me that I know you, don't talk. Like, let's go out together. Come on, what are you wearing? Put on this, 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 this. Now let's. Let's get out of the house, and then we'll, oh, okay, that was weird, that was boring. Oh my god, did you see that person there? Did you see that person there? And then for metaphor of other people, you get to know who you are. You know, there is a different type of local culture here, but that also works in Peru and other countries in the world. There's always going to be a way that people like animals, birds, like insects, like the leaves of the trees themselves, learned to talk for thousands of years. So how you connect and contribute and associate with another woman or with women, women's rights also, you know, it's very Scandinavian, like, let's go to war against the man, you know, like, you know, we have different tribes, we have different paths, we have different habits. It's a very, very old world. If you can get for yourself and go into your ancient tribal uh, originality, you will not want to do what you're doing today aha uh -huh, so that's an interesting thing do you necessarily want to live like the women of yesteryear do you necessarily want to do what they're doing i feel that's maybe how come everybody knows somebody from another country and is uh, purely touched by them so this internationalism between women is growing and look how how far we've come i mean just accepting now, you know, like some years ago, we could never accept, we are accepting of people of different tribes and different psychologies, but not everybody knows us the way that um, we want us to be known. So understanding each other is a hard um, yard. So uh, that was probably it on women's knowledge. Uh, let's do another video.